ten years of doing a lot of growing it before me, they went shooting. And to say that the when I first got it, all the bill behind the glass was absolutely plastered in, but it's not bad. It's not bad in it. Clean cleanliness wise. Should get a quick wipe over now and then we'll get a sound proof in it. And then put a new loom in and put it all back together. And to keep tea on tap as well. when it's cold anyway. So this is the soundproofing. I've got I've had like actually left over from when I did the back. Uh, it's bare marsh soundproofing it's, and it does make a big difference. It really does. It's it's now the price has gone up, it's a lot it's more expensive now. Uh, but for the bulkhead this'll this should do see enough left over. Uh, I work in inches when I'm using this because it's just a I just find it easier to work with when you're covering a large area. So I've just measured out the bulkhead now. So it's 10 inch by 10 and a half inch. Get that cut out, offer it up and see where you need to trim it. Uh, that's how I find the easiest way of doing it. Uh, so I'll just mark it out now and uh, we'll get that fitted in. We've got all the bulkhead and footwells to do before we fit the interior loom back in. So we've got that cut out now. I've just had to pull the seal back so I can get it flush. Any little bolts that protrude out, the little ones you can just push it straight over the top. Just so you can cut round them before you fit it. But like these here, I'm gonna have to cut them out before uh, I fit it obviously. So that's just a little little tip. Don't worry if they are bolts there because you push on you can see how it's marked it one two three there the little squares cut it out they go over the top and it is once you get used to it it is pretty easy job to do so I've just cut all the holes out just trim down the side for the door seal as well so it wasn't fitting flush well it's a good idea as well to while the non-stick papers on just to fold it over, so I took the shape of the bulkhead there, um, just so, just fold it over the top, because when you try and fold that over, when that's peeled off, it's going to stick to that first, and then it's become, going to become a pain, because you've got to pull it all back off again. In the beer mash kits, you get a roller supply. Um, so if you buy another kit, you will need to buy a roller separate. Um, very handy though, I've used it for all sorts. Um, uh, tea, please. Can I have enough tea? And that's it. It is pretty time consuming. But the actual end what do you want to call it job. Especially around the gearbox tunnels. I know in the old ones where we just get red hot. Humours aren't bad, I don't think. Or as bad. Um, but it likes to keep it's there to keep the heat in or heat out rather. Sound deadening. 
which is definitely, definitely worth it. Now I've got some trains on this, and so when there was no cabs in the back, it used to drone like mad. I put the sound filter in there, and you could actually hear yourself sink after that. I couldn't believe the difference. I've just got the rest of the ball kept to do. So, there's one thing about starting something and then you're not realising how long it actually takes. I mean, I did the back, but that was a lot easier than the bulkhead. But, it looks brilliant. Well, I think it does. Everything is now done. So, I've got the footwells to finish and the gearbox tunnel and then the excess loom can go in finally but yeah it looks it's coming on it does look really bare though with no wiring loom in so it's if you're thinking about doing this yourself plan some time to do it because this has took me all day to do i've not done much filming because I'm in and I'm out, constantly measuring, adjusting, all the time. So I am sorry that I've not done any filming, but I've had full soundproofing off, um, and all that has been done. So that that took ages because I've got the, the heat hole for the heater matrix, the hole for the aircon pipes, the loom hole, and another loom hole. You probably understand why it's taken so long but it should make a big difference to the heat and to the sound inside and that's the rest of the BIM ash soundproofing used I've got little bits to fill in but I'll be using the other soundproofing for both the footwells so yeah we'll see where we get to tomorrow the reason it took me so long today is because I did notice that, that this bit of soundproofing was full of water uh, I've been getting the odd drip in the footwell. So while everything's out, obviously I'm going to investigate where that's coming from. And I think the main part was the window seal here. It was just leaking water straight in. And I have fitted the optimal windscreen box because the standard blocks were absolutely, they, well, they'd had it basically. So I have fitted them. Um, I don't think I've tightened them up enough and that's why it was leaking so partly my fault but I didn't cure the problem in the first place so now that problem has been cured because it was leaking behind the window block and then down the bolts and into the inside of the bulkhead so we'll check that next time it rains make sure that's all been cured but yeah that's another reason why it took me all day to do so yeah So I got home from work late today, so I've only just managed to do the footwells, uh, the gearbox tunnel. So what I'm going to do now is just put the I can't what it's called, the matting, in the matting. I can't even remember what it's called, behind the back in, because uh, so I've got to drill through the soundproofing for the accelerator panel. So I'll put that back in and I'm going to start putting the loom in now. I don't know how long it's going to take me until it's pitch black. We'll just see how far we get today and take it from there. Also, see it's rain today and the water leak that was here, bone dry. That's good. The only bit of water that come in was from that hole where the meter matrix goes. So that is 
good news. So we've cured that leak. Uh, that was both sides as well. Oh, football was dry. Um, it was bone dry when I opened the door. So that's great. So that's another problem solved. 